This Sunday, overworked, overrun, and overwhelmed. This is truly an unprecedented situation. The country in a desperate fight against the coronavirus. We're in a war with very limited resources. A New York City hospital described as apocalyptic. All the patients in this room, all the feet that you see, they all have COVID. More hot spots developing from Los Angeles. What we see in New York City, it's coming here. To Louisiana. All that you have to do to save lives is stay home. Plus, the economy shuts down. This could create a much bigger problem than the problem that you start off with. President Trump first says he wants the country to reopen for business on Easter. I think it would be a beautiful time. Scientists and Joe Biden push back. It's a false choice to make, uh, saying that you either open the economy or everything goes to hell. But then Mr. Trump floats declaring a quarantine. I am now considering a quarantine because it's such a hot area of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Before backing down, my guest this morning, Dr. Deborah Burks of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, Governor John Bell Edwards of Louisiana, and Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan. Also, first time unemployment claims hit an all time record. We may well be in a recession. And Congress passes the biggest rescue package ever. How many more bailouts will we need? This morning, I'll have an exclusive interview with former Vice President Joe Biden. Joining me for insight and analysis are Andrea Mitchell, Eugene Robinson, Carol Lee, and Hugh Hewitt. Welcome to Sunday and a special edition of Meet the Press. From NBC News in Washington, the longest running show in television history, this is a special edition of Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. Good Sunday morning. As you can see, once again, we look a little different this week, this morning, and for the foreseeable future, I'll be anchoring Meet the Press from my home office, as we here at NBC News practice social distancing. Two images illustrate the week we've just been through. 